Tushies! For this tutorial, I'll teach you how to achieve a warm bright tone for your photos using Lightroom. After choosing your desired photo, you may move the buttons under the edit settings. But since I am using Lightroom on desktop, I'll edit the number on the sides. So just follow the right amount of number or volume that I'll be putting into each setting. For the exposure, you need the positive 0.41. For the contrast, negative 30. And for the highlights, negative 100, positive 100 for the shadows, and again, negative 100 for the whites, and negative 50 for the blacks. Now, going to the color settings, you'll be needing a positive 6 for the temperature. Positive 6 again for the tint. Positive 11 for the vibrance and positive 5 for the saturation. Now click on the upper right color wheeled circle if you are using mobile to achieve the color value settings. Now for the orange, you need negative 15 for the hue, negative 5 for the saturation, and positive 43 for the luminance. For the yellow, you'll be needing negative 1 for the hue negative 100 for saturation, and positive 33 for the luminance. For the green option, you'll be needing negative 100 for both U and saturation. Leave the luminance zero. And also the rest of the colors, you'll need to leave it on zero. Now, going into the effects, just put positive 100 for the texture. Now, for the split toning, for the saturation, you leave everything on the zero. And for the highlights, you need the U of 199 and saturation of 9. If you are using Lightroom on mobile, you can just adjust it by clicking the circle on the highlight settings. On the other hand, for the details, you need to sharpen it at positive 30. Put the radius on 1 and the details on positive 25. Now for the last step, just click the enable setting for the lens correction. And now, that's it. That's how you do it. And just to compare the original and to the final output, this is the original and this is the final output. You may also copy the settings and paste it on the other photos so that you may use this as a preset. The original and the final output of this photo is this one. Now thank you guys! Subscribe!